All right. All right, we'll check the smoke now after a couple of minutes. And, uh, boy, that's nice. We just got a little bit of smoke coming out of there. All right, so we gave her some more air. Come up here and take a look. Well, look at that. Right away we get a reaction. All right. almost see it moving. I want to, that's why. But actually, it was, what, almost 212, and now that's that side of 250. That was a raise there. And still, well, no, three, almost uh, 358. So we just gained 10 degrees there. Where's it going? Now it's going down. Help, help, Mr. Bill, it's going down. It's all right, we'll let her, let her keep cooking. We'll just let her keep cooking. Any reaction back here? And there's a reaction back there. Okay, five degrees over for sure, a little bit over. 150. more change back here. Not much. It won't show. <laughs> Alright, we'll just stay tuned and stay in there. Hi folks, here we are. It's about 20 in the afternoon. Um, to be specific, 2.15. Uh, two Alright. <laughs> Oh, no, we got no more smoke coming out of there. What happened? But the fire's out, huh? And this here is reading just a by the 100 mark. Hmm. And what's this reading? Oh, boy, look at that. Nice 200 degrees. Solid right there. Says... What's this one? Well, darn, that one says 200, just a little bit under. The back is a little warm. What do we got here? 2, 10, 20, 30, 230. Wow. Let's see if we got any fire left. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got to start this up again. tell you what. <laughs> Let's uh, tell you what. I'll use two hands free here. See you later. Hey, there we go. I didn't want to see me burn my finger there. Boy, that's a nice bed of coal. Boy, that neat. Got just the right angle. I can tuck in behind that groove there. I make it. Yeah, that's not the idea. Cold bed down there. And then start grabbing pieces of wood, I guess. Huh. If not, I don't know where to start grabbing. Oh well, let's 
throw some twigs in just for the hell of us. We don't need them. But. Wait, what's that weird smell? Flowery. Just this purpose. I put a few pine boards in here. quick reaction 375 almost 400 okay this is a take <laughs> you only get one take in this gear all right here we go folks we're going to take a look at something uh one of the little tricks we use with clay and firing is take a mirror see got a little condensation on there all right, so another thing we do here is we test it over the top of the kiln. Oh boy, look at that. Still got a lot of moisture in there from somewhere. So, let's, let's just keep going. I'm wondering if I want to put a chimney cap on there. I don't know. Now that's picking up some degrees there. That's over. Uh, that's picked up 10 degrees. And this we got, oh, 250, 75. 275 in the tail. And the front is 265. Oh. And here we got 3, 10, 20, 3, 4. And the front. And I guess we better. Guess we better take a look at the fire. Yep. Wow, it's nice. Nice bed of coals. So, you know the routine. I'm going to load her up again. <laughs> Later, eh? 
All right, folks. Uh, well, I decided to do something different here. I decided that I'm going to plug the air, and I'm just going to let it sit. We got a nice chunk of coals in there for a little while. I'm going to set it for a while, and I noticed something here that the since the front is 250 and the tail is 250, I'm just going to let it sit for a while like this and let that very little bit of air come out, come in, let a little bit of air come in and really slow the whole thing down and leave it at 250 for as long as for a while, a couple of hours. See if that takes off any more of that moisture on the inside. I think what it's coming from, you know, as I did lag in the door, and who knows, there could be a moisture in the bricks, and it's not going to seep in much on the outside. We've got a little dribble going on here. So, get my drift there? That's the logic. Let's slow it down. No big hurry. <laughs> it took five years to build. We'll fire for five years if we have. 